What's a really easy way of getting money that not enough people do? I went to audition for one of these gigs at a major art school. They wanted a series of poses, then gave me a series of emotions to express in a row. Called one out, did it. They said joy, and, honestly, I had an existential crisis, because I could not muster even a sliver of joy. Ended up scheduling therapy right after. I'm not sure that was relevant, but it felt good to say. Some years back, an acquaintance of mine got out of significant credit card debt with dumpster diving. They hit places like Staples and Best Buy, and would get last year's sad prep software slash antivirus slash tax prep, when the new stuff came out, huge spindles of CDs when those were more valuable, sell it on eBay. Eventually Staples started locking their dumpster, but by that time they'd moved on to rich neighborhoods, where people would just throw out nice furniture, or file in cabinets or one time a nice computer, that just had a bad power supply. My brother has done it for profit and food. He's fine. He was fine at the time. Long story. You return an expensive specialty pillow to Walmart. They can't wrestle it for hygienic reasons. It ends up in the dumpster. He grabs it. He sells it on Craigslist. Dented space heater. Same thing. New look boxes of cereal come out. Old boxes end up in the trash. Breakfast for weeks. Being an extra on TV shows. Everyone acts as if this is some secret hard thing to do, but anyone can do it. Hell. Some shows find extras via Facebook pages. You show up, you film for a couple hours and you get 100 bucks for hanging out with people plus free meals. However, don't do high budget ones. Learn the hard way Amazon has money and they aren't afraid to use it to keep you on set with insane overtime, which is good for money, but you're gonna end up with long days. Medical experiments are easy money. Look for final round ones that have already been tested on humans. You probably don't wanna be first cab off the rank with some of these. Hell I saw one a while back for dollar sign 1k for testing combined Nurofen and Panadol. I got dollar sign 4k for a wound healing one. Left some fun little scars on my legs, but after tax got a nice laptop out of it. No overpasses. Ones with extended overnight periods pay more, but they also feed you. You'll have to be a non-smoker and have no detectable drugs in your system. There are some different jobs at home jobs you can get. Transcription for one. You get an audio file and transcribe it into text, sort out who is saying, what and when in the system they provide you with, and get paid around $75 for every 30 minutes transcribed. If you have low morals there is chat operator work. You work on a platform, writing to old men from fake female profiles and they pay 1 euro and 50 cents per message they send. You receive anything from 0, 10, 0, 20 euros per message you send. This is actually a big market with sophisticated systems, but highly immoral of course. The men agree to it, by agreeing to the side's rules yada yada, so the info about the girls, being fake is printed, and usually pretty easy, to find in the agreement, but they just don't read it. If you write fast, and have a dirty mind you can easily produce 100 messages an hour. Not very nice to the old men though. How has nobody said donating plasma? $60 to $100 a week, at least, for donating twice a week. Plus there are usually promotions. Right now at my local one new clients can make $700 the first month by donating 8 times. The 8 sessions would on average here take about 10 hours. Takes 2-3 to three hours your first time depending on how busy your local center is, as you have to meet with the doctor and get a physical, and after that it takes like 15 minutes each session plus wait time, again depends on your local center, but usually 15 to 45 minutes my time to shine with a story from my childhood. My father is a boiler operator for the mental hospital and the juvenile facilities in my town. Well about 15 years ago all the facilities decided to upgrade their washing machines and dryers, so they stripped them all down as it was the easiest way to get them out of the building and through security. All the parts were stored in piles in a field waiting to be picked up. My dad is a smart guy, and when he sees an opportunity to make a quick buck he takes it. He figured he can pick up the motors for all these machines, we are talking 100 plus, take them home, and pull the copper out of them, and make enough to take us all on a vacation, and have some money left over. 
So every night for about a week and a half he is bringing home these washing machine motors and unloading them into the garage. He told me, and my brothers that, if we helped him strip the motors he would give us a percentage. I tried it for a few nights, but just hated how long it took 4 hours of work a night and you could probably get too finished entirely. About a month, goes by of my siblings and father toiling away. They finally finish, and have 6 large containers filled to the brim with copper. All excited they all load up in the car together, and go to see what all their hard work has earned them. We arrive at the scrapyard on a nice sunny day. My dad was smiling, and my brothers were eager for some cash. My father unloads the goods and proudly presents them to the scrapyard worker. A hard-working Mexican crouches down and picks up a piece of metal and inspects. While looking over the metal my father proudly explains how him and his boys work to gain this metal. The worker stands up and looks my father in the eye. This is aluminum my friend. Instant heartbreak. My father's smile made my brothers dejected. They turn in the aluminum and collect their measly $50. My dad, still owing it took his kids, gave each of my brothers $100. The lesson I took away was this. Always make sure it's actually copper. I break into Tiffany's at midnight. Do I go for the vault? No, I go for the chandelier. It's priceless. As I'm taking it down, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. She's Tiffany. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning, the cops come, and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides, I like the cold. 30 years later, I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the chief of police. This is where the story gets interesting. I tell Tiffany to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stash the chandelier. Teaching for profit. As an American, I had 30k in school debt after leaving uni, then went abroad to teach. Got my debt taken care of after 2 years, and now after 3 more have 60k in the bank, despite me spending 20k on a master's degree. Jobs have been pretty relaxed once you figure out your boundaries. While I was getting my masters, I had only one lesson most days, but charged $120 slash HR. It's kinda insane how much you can make, teaching English slash test prep slash IB English and history in Asia or online. Freelance scientific slash English editing for papers before they are published. The authors are usually from countries where English isn't the first language. I'm currently living off the money I make from this, and I've got to say, it's really helped me stand on my feet, along with savings, for quite some time now. If you can put in enough time, and have decent English editing skills, making about $300 to $500 sign a month is a piece of cake. You can marry people from different countries, so they can get the green card they'll literally give you like thousands of dollars, so that you could marry them, if you're from America or something, they'll give you thousands, to get the green card into America, but it's illegal, and I guess that's why nobody does it, but don't search up how to do this, because then you'll get, put on a list, but I know this is true, and also my friend was born in a different, country and he was abused by his parents there, so he moved to America, so he could be with his aunt and uncle and sometimes he still visits his country, and he told me that there's so many people there who are looking for Americans to marry them for the green card and these people will even buy you a house if you can do that for them, and my ex-boyfriend's dad fake married a lady so she could get the green card, but he didn't put a price because they were friends. And if you're interested, or are wondering where you can find these people, I think the lady he fake married was from Brazil and my friend who visits his country, and told me that there's a lot of people looking to pay for a marriage, I think it's the Philippines, because he said he lived on an island and him, and his birth family is also Filipino so. Look into it. Campshire A plus certificate can get your foot in the door, and desirable for entry level contract, that is short term, jobs, when I started I made about $10 hour, and I was only studying for the A+, I didn't have it yet. Over the next year I had several contracted jobs, and finished my A+. 
eventually got a more permanent, though still contractor, job, and got more experience, which led to my current job, which is with a great company. Pet sitting slash dog walking. My friend printed off a bunch of flyers, and put them up in his apartment complex and on doors. It was slow at first, but he got like 4 to 5 clients. Then it kind of graduated to people asking for overnight pet sitting. People would rather have you spend the night with their pet in where they are comfortable in their own home. Get some cash to go watch Netflix and hang out with puppers. Same friend did it in the winter, but for brushing snow off cars slash scraping ice. I think he charged like 5 bucks, but he got up to like 10 people, and in a snowy area, he was making bank in the winter. It did help that he worked overnight, so he'd get off at 6am, go home and walk around, and hit 10 cars, and go to bed. He'd also do it on request, but those would cost 7. Lot of people paid it, rather than scrape snow off their car for 10 minutes and freeze. Also, gigs on Craigslist. Lots of people will just need help moving, taking garbage away, etc. I found a couple who traveled a lot, and their dogs had separation anxiety so overnights required. They were very financially well off, so they gave me 75 bucks a night to feed their dogs, chickens, and cats. They had this big mansion, and would leave anywhere for 2 nights to 3 weeks. They'd load the fridge full of food and beer, and I'd just chill. They even had a dog door, so they could relieve themselves whenever they needed, so when I got there after work we'd play fetch for an hour, or take them swimming, and they'd be sleeping by 7 lol. Miss those dogs though. There's a $1,200 class, if you're in state, it's $2,400, if you're coming from out of state, in Oklahoma to learn how to fix wind turbines. The instructors are super knowledgeable and very cool people in general, and before I even got out of the class I had a job offer for $23 hour in another state. Obviously you have to be cool with heights though, but with me coming from the cell tower industry prior to this, the heights are easier to deal with when everything is enclosed, and you're not constantly seeing how far down it is. Sleep studies or medical studies. In college they had these inpatient studies they used to test on people. Wasn't like weird prescription drugs, it was pretty normal stuff like topical cream or some shit. You basically check in for 3 to 4 days, and they monitor you, so you just watch Netflix or study. Some had like 10 day ones for a few grand, but that was tough to juggle with jobs in class. Although I think I did a 5 day one, but I had to clear it with my professors. Just told them I really needed the money and most will work with you a bit. Find out what plants are trendy at the moment, concentrating on types that are easy to propagate, like succulents. Buy a couple of different kinds, and let nature grow your plants for you. Pot up and sell your baby plants or cuttings locally on FB, no fees. People come to you. In the last year, I've made nearly a grand from plants. It's ridiculously easy, and only takes time. Some cheap resources, secateurs, plastic pots, seed mix, sand, tags you can make from aluminium can, and water every now and then creep local community pages, often people give away plants, cuttings etc for nothing, just to get rid of them. Delivering pizzas on the side. I work a normal 9 to 5 during the week, and pick up an additional 12 hours or so a week delivering pizza during dinner rush. That extra 12 hours a week adds an additional dollar sign 1000 plus slash mo in income. Such easy money too. Especially if you can get into a store in a nicer area. People tip really well. I don't know how accessible it is to everyone, but I used to bartend weddings as a side gig back in college. Easiest money I've ever made, and I don't know anything about bartending. Set up the bar with whatever the wedding party, provided as drinks for their guests, and then take it down after. Pour some wine, open some beers, mix up a few Jack and Cokes. Gets tips like crazy, and I got paid $150 up front regardless. It was not uncommon to take home dollar sign 500 plus for 6 hours of work on a Saturday night. Tips to avoid a criminal record or wasting money, avoid tax fraud, welfare fraud, section 8 fraud, unemployment fraud, and pyramid schemes. Haven't seen those comments, but just in case they're peer. 
tip, look up the most trending product on Amazon or eBay, source it viral locally, albeit Walmart or the hobby shop it's sold at, and sell it for profit. Also advertise it, and make the cost enough for you to advertise free shipping. It's hard work, but some people make a living off doing that shit. People need to create hype, intellectual property. You get a copyright on anything you fix in a tangible medium of expression. If you work hype properly you can work once and be paid for a lifetime for it. I told my students when I taught college classes that if you can work once and live for the rest of your life, why not do it? On the side, I take photos with drones in my camera and I try to capture things that most people know but from a different angle. I then have a photo website where people can buy them. It is not hard and can earn you money on the side. For a while I was hanging my work in local business, but that is about dead now with COVID. If you can write then, write and self-publish that makes a lot of money, if you are good at and can build a fan base. Taking advantage of betting sites bonuses. This is how it works in short. Sign up for site A and B and get two bonuses. Bet on bulls plus 14.5 on site A and lacquers minus 14.5 on site B and lose about 4% of the wage, no matter the outcome. Repeat on as many sites as possible. Since the bonus is bigger than the loss you make a profit. Be sure to read the TNC carefully to see that there is nothing shady going on. Yes, this is most likely not okay according to the site's TNCs, but the chance of getting caught is most likely slim to none. I haven't done this in a while, but it should still work in a lot of countries. Back in the zeros you could play blackjack on casinos and clear bonuses that way, it was insanely profitable, and you could easily make $85 in even 5 minutes. If you have a yard, you probably could have a garden. If you don't, check to see if there is a community garden in your area you can join. At the very least you can reduce your grocery bill. With a little luck and practice you could start a modest neighborhood CSA or sell your surplus to someone already running one. If you can scale up and sell at a farmer's market there is okay money on the retail side. My wife and I have about a half acre market garden and we grow some micro greens in the garage under lights. We average a couple hundred bucks a week in sales year round. We use polytunnels and row cover for winter crops. If you have a yard, you probably could have a garden. If you don't, check to see if there is a community garden in your area you can join. At the very least you can reduce your grocery bill. With a little luck and practice you could start a modest neighborhood CSA or sell your surplus to someone already running one. If you can scale up and sell at a farmer's market there is okay money on the retail side. My wife and I have about a half acre market garden and we grow some micro greens in the garage under lights. We average a couple hundred bucks a week in sales year round. We use polytunnels and row cover for winter crops. Stop spending money on stupid shit. Convenience store coffee slash soda slash donut every morning lottery tickets, cigarettes slash tip, beer, energy drinks, and other habits that sap your health and your wallet. Subscription services that you don't use anymore, monthly boxes that you don't need, etc impulse purchases, self-soothing purchases. I'm not saying, cut all pleasure out of your life, but so much of our money goes to bullshit. Save. 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 Quite honestly lots of people know how to get money each month and the actual problem is holding on to it. Invest in a grilled cheese maker. Like 10 to 20 bucks and such an easy quick snack. It'll pay for itself in 2 weeks and decay it that you thought you wanted but didn't really. Cancel your gazillion subscriptions. Netflix for $8.99 seems little, but it's $108 a year. Tack on Hulu and Disney Plus and that's over $300. It's all online anyway, plus you've already paid FRINDS cast enough in syndication rights. Stop buying certain name brand groceries. Blind taste test it, you'd be surprised. You might even like the off brand more. Is your phone plan too expensive? You don't need 80 GB of data to watch Twitter videos and you know it. You also don't need a knife that can cost a lot of money to message your friends and photo your dog. For females maxi pad saturation studies. I was invited to do a study years ago paying dollar sign 1200 plus for 3 days. You had to stay at their facility and stay in bed for 3 days and to see how much soaking was done. 
you could do things, but you had to stay in bed, and they had to change your pad. Unfortunately I was unable to participate, because I've had a hysterectomy.